Topic Cluster, Pillar Pages, Hub and Spoke Model. I know I'm dropping a lot of keywords. I would like to show you today how you can categorize your keyword cluster to create a Hub and Spoke Model with through. So how does it work? Basically, uh, so here you can see it's a Topic Cluster created with through. And now you have a new uh, drop down. So with a list of categories, so you can easily focus on a specific category. And here what you see is basically keyword cluster that are uh, related to the same uh, category uh, displayed. So you can quite fast focus on one uh, category and create all the pages related to this category. All right. Okay. Maybe I was a bit too fast. So let me start from the beginning. To create a topic cluster, you visit this page. And then what you have to do is to drop a list of keywords. So here I have a list of keywords related to association. I select keyword and volume column. I upload the file. And here you can see all your keywords. You can still clean them. So basically what through will do, it will analyze the SERP for every single keyword here. And when two keywords display more or less the same SERP, they will be put together in one cluster. Okay, this is how the grouping is working. So I already run uh, this process because it takes a couple of minutes and I will show you the result. So the result of this uh, grouping is basically that you see a lot of uh, cluster. So with the main topic of the cluster and all the related keywords. This is great. Now you have a, you can focus on specific topics and start to create a content plan. But now what's even better if you want to follow a hub and spoke model, or basically having a topic cluster with a pillar page at the top and supporting pages below, you can focus on a specific category. So I will pick, for instance, the association marketing strategy. And here, all these clusters are related to the same category or topic, which is uh, uh, marketing strategies. So you could create supporting pages or spoke about web design, email marketing, marketing automation, and so on. And then create a pillar page uh, listing all your children page, and maybe on the pillar page as well, you can put some detail. And by the way, to start the content creation with through is quite straightforward. You can click on brief, and then you'll be redirected to the content brief generator, where you can start uh, providing some information to your writer. You can see as well, there is content that is already here, so automatically, fetch from the SERP and you can define your title and as well the outline. And for the outline, if you don't know yet, there is as well an integration with ChatGPT. So here, uh, through is sending to ChatGPT information about the SERP, like the top uh, titles and content ranking on the page of Google. And then ChatGPT with this information is creating a comprehensive content outline. So in a few click, you can select the topic, then create the brief and share it with your writer. So I will just let ChatGPT finish. Okay, I think it will be done soon. And he likes to write a lot. And then you can apply it. And of course, you do some change and you look as well at your competitor to see if you cover the topic uh, in, in great detail. All right, so let's go back to our main topic. So the idea now is to create, uh, as I said, a set of content related to a main topic. Basically, what we try to achieve is that. So here you see you have your pillar page, association marketing strategy, linked into different supporting pages, like email marketing for association, influencer marketing, etc. And this is what we have done now it's through. So I selected, I created one brief, but in fact, I prepared several briefs. And here you can see all your brief here. So you can quite fast set up a content plan with a related content brief and share it with your writer. And overall, your goal is that then you will pick different categories. Here, another one, association uh, uh, web solutions. So everything about web solution or about uh, startup, uh, how to start an uh, association or how to manage revenue, etc. So you can see with this new approach, with the categories, you can identify all the different hub for your website and create the related content. So I hope you like this little demonstration about the new feature in through. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below or don't hesitate to come back to me and I will reply to your question.
Enjoy clustering with Shrew.